everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven a time to be born and a time to die a time to weep and a time to laugh a time to embrace and a time to Love is the divinest attribute of the human soul. There is no difficulty. There is no sorrow. There is no wealth. There is nothing in the world which can separate two hearts that are bound by the golden clasp of love. Mother Teresa, recipient of the Nobel Peace Prize. Virginity is a lovely thing. It is the greatest gift a man and woman can give one another. The husband and the wife who consummate their marriage on their wedding night will grow in love for each other. The gift of
whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do ye even so to them. The gift of love that I hope to receive, pure and for me alone, that is the gift I will save for you. I may not even know you, but I love you still somehow, and the best way I can show you is to promise here and now. Help wanted. Full time job. Hours: 24 hours a day, 365 days a year for a minimum of 18 years. No time off for weekends or holidays. You can't quit. Duties: Assume all physical, moral, and financial responsibilities of another human being. Qualifications: Patience, compassion, understanding, and mature judgment. Salary: None. In fact, you must plan on spending at least thirty-five hundred dollars a year for the privilege of taking this job. I am only sixteen, and I'm not ready to take the job described above. Life is too short to be tied down with a baby when I could be out having fun. Sign me not ready. There's someone else I've got to take care of first. I'm creating somebody. I'm creating somebody great. I'm thrilled that I'm building a beautiful person. My baby's mother, that's me. She's going to be smart. She's going to be wise. When you look in her eyes, you will know that she's read and she's thought and she's got her. She's going to be strong. She's going to be tough. She'll be made of the stuff that will last through the trials and the pains and the rains that she'll find. Give her time. It's her turn now. Take your time, little baby. It's your mother's turn now. It's your mother. To be good, she's going to be kind, and you'll find she will know where to go. And you will not get lost if you walk beside her. She's going to be fun. She's going to be free. She's not going to live in the past, 'cause she grew up too fast, left her dreams behind her. Baby's mother, my baby's.
person's good. In romantic love, you want the other person.
Soon after he was married, Thomas More, the famous 19th century Irish poet, was called away on a business trip. Upon his return, he was met at the door not by his beautiful bride, but by the family doctor. Your wife is upstairs, said the doctor, but she has asked that you do not come up. And then More learned the terrible truth. His wife had contracted smallpox. The disease had left her once flawless skin pocked and terribly scarred. She had taken one look at her disfigured reflection in the mirror and commanded that the shutters be drawn and that her husband never see her again. Moore would not listen. He ran upstairs and threw open the door of his wife's room. It was black as night inside. Not a sound came from the darkness. Groping along the wall, Moore felt for the gas jet to light the lamps. A startled cry came from a black corner of the room. No! No, don't light the lamps. Moore hesitated, swayed by the pleading in the voice. Go, she begged. Please go. This is the greatest gift I can give you now. Moore did go. He went down to his study where he sat up most of the night, prayerfully writing. Not a poem this time, but a song. He had never written a song before, but now he found it more natural to his mood than simple poetry. He not only wrote the words, he wrote the music too, and the next morning, as soon as the sun was up, he returned to his wife's room. He felt his way to a chair and sat down. Are you awake? he asked. I am, came a voice from the far side of the room, but you must not ask to see me. You must not press me, Thomas. I will sing to you then, he answered. And so, for the first time, Thomas More sang to his wife the song that still lives today. Believe me, if all those endearing young charms which I gaze on so fondly today were to change by tomorrow. still be adored as this moment thou art let thy loveliness fade as it will and around the dear ruin each wish of my heart would entwine itself Their first touch at seventeen was in the park And the moon was full She was beautiful to him And her hair was long and her eyes were blue And her skin was warm and she turned to him And he thought that he knew what love was Another touch at twenty-two on their wedding night And the stars were bright She was beautiful to him And her hair smelled sweet and her lips were full And her skin was warm and she turned to him And he thought that he knew what love was And then again at twenty-five when the baby came And the sun was high She was beautiful to him And her hair was damp and her fingers shook 
and her skin was warm, and she turned to him, and he thought that he knew what love was. Later on, at fifty-four, sitting on the porch, all the children gone. She was beautiful to him, and her hair was gray, and her forehead lined, and her skin was warm, and she turned to him, and he thought that he knew what love was. Their last touch at eighty-five was by her bed, and the moon was full. She was beautiful to him, and her hair was thin, and her eyes were closed, and her skin was cold, and she turned to him, and he knew that he knew. What love was. What love was. After sixty-eight years of laughter and tears, he knew that he knew what love was.
In English, the word love covers several emotions. In Greek, there are two words that help us better define the aspects of love. Eros, meaning romantic love, and agape, meaning Christ-like or brotherly love. A healthy marriage relationship needs both of these. From Carol Lynn Pearson, Double Wedding. Let's have a double wedding, you and me, and Eros and Agape. Let us post interchangeable notes on bedroom wall and refrigerator. Love thy lover and love thy neighbor. Let us hold hands in movies and in the hospital. Let us kiss shoulders and eyelids and the cut fingers of small children. Let us serve one another apple blossoms and vases and quartered fruit on trays. Let us write poems and wills to each other. Let us have nights as friendly lovers and days as loving friends. And let the four of us, you and me and Eros and Agape, stand in line together at the grocery store and at a golden anniversary. Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 8. To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to love. A time to love, there will be a time to love, time for me and someone is waiting for a time to love, the right to love, when the season's right for love. And the reason's clear, the time will 